Hello and welcome back to X-Plane 11. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. I know it's been a bit of a, a bit of a long time since I've done an X-Plane 11 video. I have been quite busy, but as you can see on screen today, we're going to be looking at FS Enhancer. Once again, you're probably thinking, hang on a minute, we've looked at this before. We have, that was 0. Uh, version 0. 0.49. Now we're going to be having a look at version 0. 0.5, which is actually very different. Different type of installation, different type of configuration and it does have different features so stay tuned for the next I'd say 20 to 25 minutes probably about 20 minutes uh, to be able to see how to install this give you a comparison between uh, default and with this actually enabled as well as learn how to put the reshade shaders in and uh, make sure everything runs properly Okay, so here we are with the uh, Just Flight Arrow 3. We're in the, we're in the little Arrow 3, obviously my favorite aircraft, but we're not looking at the Just Flight Arrow 3. I've only done this because this is a, an easy aircraft for me to fly, having clocked up so many hours in it. So we're going to be taking off from Echo Golf Papa Hotel, which is exactly the same airport in Edinburgh that we took off from when we were doing this last time. So this is going to give you a good example as well. You'll be able to compare this with the previous video to have a look at uh, the, the comparison. So obviously this isn't going to change so much. X-Plane has had an update between that last video where we were looking at FS Enhancer and this video. So there are going to be some differences in the sky and the, the cloud textures and the ground textures. Just minor differences, maybe some color saturation, um, some leveling adjustments or whatever they do, you know, small graphical adjustments. But for the most part, this is default X-Plane 11 or this is default X-Plane 11 in version 11.23. To five, I believe. So if you have a look at this, you can see that uh, the, the ground is a little bit, it's pretty good. I'm not going to say it's bad. Again, also I'm using a HD mesh. So if you look at this and you're wondering, oh, the, gra uh, the actual mesh looks quite nice. That's so HD mesh. Uh, but you look at that and you think, yeah, the ground looks pretty good. Obviously the roads look pretty good. The color, color looks pretty good, but you can tell that this is a game. And you'll see in a few seconds, I'll go to an outside view. Uh, and you're going to see that whilst obviously it still looks really good, it does have that impression that it's still a computer simulation or like I said, a game. But in, that, in the sense of certain colors seem too bright, the gamma seems slightly off. Um, as in fact, there you go, you can see right now, you can just see if you look at the ground, look behind and things, you can see that it just looks slightly different, slightly too bright in places, the whites are slightly bright in some areas, the sky seems a little bit um, white, washed out, sort of, it just has this white wash all over it, so it looks a bit washed out. I know this is the middle of the day, but you would expect the sky to be a little bit more bluer, so on and so forth. If you look at the ground, you'd expect maybe the ground to be a bit more green. There you go. When you look up, you can see that the sky is a bit blue over there. But then this haze seems to come in and it seems to cause a bit of issues. It doesn't look brilliant. It doesn't look bad. Don't get me wrong. It looks very good, but it doesn't look brilliant. And you're going to see, I'm going to uh, now go through the time, time phases. So we're going to just uh, go through right the way through to sunset and then come back up to probably around dawn and I'll change the weather up a, bit, a little bit as well in this little uh, preview of default X-Plane before we get into the next part which will be installing the actual um, the actual mod uh, or the texture replacement pack I suppose you would call it but you can see if you look around at that you can just see that it doesn't the haze seems to or whatever that is that sort of haze in the distance seems to be quite widespread it doesn't look uh, all too natural the ground the ground textures themselves whilst good or decent uh, they they look again everything looks a little bit washed out it everything just looks a little bit too game like and if you look at the shadows as well on the aircraft the shadows look like they're they're not dark enough the actual underside of the aircraft doesn't look like it's dark enough and it's honestly it's just minor changes and you can see the sun going down now it, it is minor changes but uh, or minor nitpicks that I'm actually looking at, little, little aspects. But it does make a difference to how your eye perceives it. So looking at this, there are minor changes that could have been done or that x could do themselves, Lamina Research, could do themselves to, to make this look better and to make this uh, seem better. Now you can see that we've gone into the night time, so we're just having a look around at the night right now. And you can just see that, that sort of uh, transition into the night. So it does 
that also isn't brilliant and you're going to see exactly how um, the update or the scenery pack uh, FS Enhancer changes it. Uh, everything by the way, all the packs, everything that I use, the reshade will be linked in the description box below as well as a few uh, little extra bits and bobs that you need to do. I'll have that actually in the description box below for, uh, for ease of use for you guys so that it's not too difficult for you to type things in. Now you can see that I've changed the weather. So we're just going to have a look at a few different types of weather. As you can see here, it's a, it's a broken, uh, not broken clouds, scattered clouds. And you can see scattered clouds actually does look quite nice. It, it's fairly natural, uh, but then we can, you, you just have a look when the sun goes down, you just see slight differences. It doesn't look bad, that really doesn't look bad, but it could be, again, it could be better. Um, I think personally, cirrus clouds and scattered clouds are probably the easiest ones to do in terms of weather and I think you're going to see also from FS Enhancer that they are the easiest ones to do. Now we're looking at broken clouds and going towards overcast fairly shortly but you can see the broken clouds again they, they don't look bad at all in fact I, I think they, they do look pretty good at certain times. When you look at overcast then you're looking at this sort of a cloud layer now I will say something already I prefer the overcast here that you can now see on screen I prefer this overcast to the overcast that we're going to have in FS Enhancer but the reason is not going to be because the FS Enhancer version is bad it's just going to be because of how things are panning out and then we've got clear but anyway let's get into actually getting uh, this product installed so you can go ahead and download the files and you can see that there are a number of files so just download the reshade injector and all the other files uh, put them in a folder like I always uh, say so put them in a completely separate folder I created an FS Enhancer folder as you can see there and everything is in there including the reshade which I'm going to link in the description box below so you can see that reshade setup right there then open up your explain folder go to your root directory for your explain folder and you can see in this one you've got resources so if you go to your explain folder and I've now brought them up alongside each other you'll see a resources folder right there so all you've got to do is drag and drop that across not over the resources folder put it in a blank space it'll ask to overwrite things or overwrite them sorry and you just need to go and do that for all of them so you've got true lights true haze true clouds whatever they've got just go ahead and copy all of that across and it really is just as simple as that so once that's done all you need to do, and I think, is that the last one? Yep, that's the last one, is load up X-Plane. And now we're back in X-Plane, and you can immediately see the difference. Now, this is the exact same time of day as we take off. Have a look at the sky, and the di and the actual, specifically, you're going to see at, at one point, when we get in the air, have a look at the horizon. But right now, have a look at the sky. It's a lot more blue. Although we've got the cirrus clouds obviously giving it the white, there's a lot more blue in the actual clouds. And as we turn and have a look out the window exactly like we did last time, you're going to see the ground is a little bit more green and the levels seem to have been adjusted just ever so slightly for that more natural look. I mean, just look at the, um, the actual white of the aircraft as well on the nose. It, it does look more natural. It looks like it's, it's reflecting the light a little bit better now. It's not, it's not overly bright. And if there we go. Now we can just see the ground again. It's a subtle difference. It is a subtle difference. And in the sky, it's a subtle difference. It's just a little bit more blue. The ground's a little bit more green. There seems to be a little bit more saturation in this, just a tad. There seems to be some levels adjustment so that the ground and the, uh, the, ground and the sky seem to be matching up. And of course, a lot of the work is done on the sky but also work has been done all all the way around uh, including the waves and everything that's why we have a true waves folder so you can see just there as we're looking around and we'll go outside in a few seconds again so that you can have a good look but you will definitely once we get outside about now you will see the difference there we go and now you can clearly see that blue uh, out there and if you look to, towards the ground there are just subtle differences and look at the clouds the cirrus clouds look fantastic in this mod but also have a look at the horizon can you see that haze and I will be pointing this out a couple of times but can you see that haze well you can't now because I'm having a look at the clouds but uh, you'll see it in a moment again the cirrus clouds one of the things that will change really really great that's one of the better clouds I think but just look around and I'm just I'm just going to show you around the aircraft a bit and can you see that haze in the distance? That's something called true haze that was included in this pack. 
And what it does is it tries to simulate the haze that you see naturally in real life, which is far more accurate to the haze that uh, this haze is far more accurate to real life uh, uh, as opposed to the haze that we had before. So we're going to uh, change the time of day and it will become very noticeable at certain times of day which I think again is really really cool so here we go going through different times of day again now that's starting to look ridiculously natural look at the actual uh, shadows as well again they're not quite perfect um, but you're going to see how reshade fixes that but they're not quite perfect yet they are still a little bit there is still a little bit of adjustments required on the on the lighting but it's far far better and look at that haze now you can see that purple purple bar all the way at the bottom that's very very realistic and of course going into the night as well just look at that the way the blues and the purples merge it's far better than it used to be so I'm really really impressed with that and I think that's one of the biggest things that FS Enhancer does is it just gives you that realistic sky color maybe not the clouds it might not even be the waves or anything like that it's those sky colors and when you're when you're flying you can see that and again you can just see right there as I went back and forward that haze band so you can see that but now if we change over to a different type of clouds again scattered clouds look very very good better than the original I'd say that looks far better than the original but you're going to see as we get towards broken clouds um, and we get I mean I just pointed that out just there is there's a little bit uh, over there which looks slightly odd but as we start getting more and more of this cloud coverage and we're going to go into broken clouds and overcast you will see and I will point it out when we get to overcast I will point out uh, the difference but also just have a look at the waves or the, the water there how fantastic did that water look so that is really really impressive I am very very impressed with that but here we go with the overcast you can see the clouds and you can see where this is the texture the edge of the textures that really needs to be improved but again that's something that maybe we need a full 3d engine a 3d weather engine to actually be able to fix that but again back over to clear and we're going to pretty soon go into installing reshade now with reshade i might as well start telling you about this right now once you install reshade there are going to be a few other things you need to do now when i show you reshade what's what i'm going to be showing you is the installation and i'm going to select directx 10 however i had to go back so as you can see i'm now installing it so you just run that you select the executable i've shown you this before x plane 11 and then you select which one you want now i selected directx 10 make sure you say no to downloading extra shaders what you need to what i needed to do is i needed to go to OpenGL from DirectX 10. Once you've done that, go to the reshade injectors and copy them across straight to your root folder. Anything that needs overwriting, overwrite, job done. Then you need to add those four lines in and above that you can see where it says reshade shaders slash textures, if I just go back there, and sh slash shaders, you can just see those two lines, you need to write them in because they won't be written in and then what you really should do is add an effects toggle key as you can see I've done that to be insert so I'll leave those lines in the description box uh, in the description box below yep so you guys can just copy that and paste that directly in what that's supposed to be able to do is it's supposed to be able to give you um, ambient I think it's uh, global illumination and ambient occlusion but as you can see once I've got into this I don't seem to have that now I tried everything and I just cannot seem to get that to work. However, you guys might have better luck. I think it might be something to do with DirectX. We might you it might work on DirectX and not on OpenGL. And because I've had to use OpenGL, that's what's happened. But anyway, I'll leave that in the description box as well. As well as well, I'm not going to leave the path files because you'll need to get those yourself. But those are essentially the path files. It's it's going to be. If you've just copied it over, it's going to be whatever your root folder is, which is what it's given that to you anyway slash reshade dash shaders and then it's going to be for the shades folder slash shaders with a capital s and for the textures folder slash textures with a capital t and then once you're in you can see the difference that reshade makes i needed to switch on the lights inside because it was early morning so i could see my aircraft properly that's impressive in fact that looks incredibly realistic for to me 
and you're going to see I'm going to be switching the shaders on and off using the insert key that's why I recommend that you give yourself a toggle so you'll be seeing over the next couple of minutes I'll be switching them on and off on and off and you will see the difference but just have a look around now now that looks incredibly natural and of course the shade that the preset that I am using is natural you may want to tweak it a little bit yourself nothing wrong with that I tend to tweak them I haven't tweaked this one yet but I think I would like to play with the levels on this and the ambient lighting just a little bit just to uh, for my preference basically for my preference and that's what reshades all about but it's so easy to do to get the FS Enhancer, it's just a, a drag and drop into resources. For reshade, you just install it and again, drag and drop, add those lines in, job done. What I will say is that reshade does take um, some frames. It will eat into the performance a bit. However, make sure you change it from configuration mode to performance mode on that option. So when you press Shift and F2, make sure that it is in performance mode. That will really help. So make sure you do that. But you just have a look at that. I'm just gonna, now I'm just gonna basically show you how different things look and how nice it looks. We'll go outside in a, in a second or two. And, uh, well, there you go. And you can just see. Now, I think I'm gonna switch it on and off. There you go, that's off, on, off, on. You can just see that subtle difference. Can you see that subtle difference? We'll move the, move the sun a little bit so you can see that difference again when we switch it on and off. There you go see that you can just see underneath how the sunlight is sort of hitting it in a really strange way with this ambient lighting but you can also see that the shadows are a little bit darker when so you'll, you'll see there uh, that the shadows are just if you just have a look around they look a little bit darker all the way around which is something I like I think that's very realistic so with that I think I'm going to be coming up pretty much to the end of this episode hopefully that's been really helpful for you if you've got any questions leave it in the comments box uh, all the links to everything are in the description box below thank you very much for watching please remember to hit the like button if you like this video subscribe to the channel for more videos on X-Plane 11 leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think if you've installed this what's your opinion on this um, also don't forget to support me on patreon www.patreon.com slash EC gadget your support would be massively massively appreciated look how nice that looks that really looks nice and just look at that haze in the distance that's fantastic um, also if you're not watching this on twitch you can follow me on twitch www.twitch.tv slash EC gadget and you can find me on social media that is uh, Twitter and Instagram at EC gadget LP that is all from me I just can't get over how nice that sun sunrise looks with the haze but that is all from me again a quick cheer a check of it on and off and I'll see you guys next time in x 11 where well I actually don't know what I'll be looking at um, maybe you guys can leave something in the comments I do know I need to get onto uh, author for XP so maybe just maybe I might get on with that